This is the Yargo 100 watt panel. This thing is really interesting. Let's talk about it. Now this is one of the lightest weight panels I've ever grasped. This thing is like pretty, it's pretty interesting. I'll put the official weight down here or here, I'm not sure. It does have the ETFE coating that makes that little Manny Fresh noise. <laughs> and the nice handle that has the little finger holes in them so you can kind of grab it and get a good grip on it when you're carrying it around. But it's super light though, that's, that's the benefit, super light. Here is the package on the back. This is one of the few panels that has a 60 watt USB-C output. So it has a little protective cover on the ports. You can see here that the DC output says PD 65 watts. There's your USB-A and USB-C covered by this little, it's kind of flimsy, but it's a nice little flap. It's a good look to keep your connections waterproof. It has four carabiner holes in each of the corners none in the middle but the panel is relatively small so you really don't need much in the middle this is a good travel friendly panel i like how small it gets let's flip it over so you can kind of see what i mean that's a good four-way four panel joint and the thing is really light let's look at the material because it's not the typical joint it's like really thin you see how thin that is and it's very like flexible that could be a pro or a kind for you you can see it has these little button style things which are magnets which help to keep it closed we'll talk about that in a second now let's talk about this cable the cable is not detachable which is fine I'm just pointing it out it's not the longest cable but it has mc4 built into it it has eight millimeter anderson and 5521 no xt60 which sucks because this would have been a perfect little panel for deploying with my ecoflow river and my all powers R600. Now, we gotta talk about this design. <laughs> to have the MC4 connectors here is interesting to me because MC4 is waterproof, but if you're relying on the waterproof nature, how do you feel about these being left out? It almost kind of defeats the purpose because then you have to figure out a way to keep these covered up. Something hit me while I was recording is if you're gonna use this particular plug, for MC4, then what I would suggest is getting a long enough cable where you just nullify the length. So you just take this over here and you just put it under the dip so it's covered up. If you have it angled, you put it under there so it's like, uh, protected against the elements. So it's, it's not it's not that bad. The legs on the back, it has two that are positioned on the further side of this. I saw this with another panel because these panels are getting smaller. They don't need four legs across them. It is also connected by Velcro. And the Velcro on here is not annoyingly strong. Now, whether that holds up over time, we shall see. <laughs> now, because it has only two legs, there is a little sag right here, but it's not bad. The panels appear to be very rigid. They're not soft, they're not floppy or anything like that. But because it doesn't have a third leg or four legs here, it kind of dips in a little bit right there, as you can kind of see. Perfect would be about right there, but it kind of drops down there. I think it was Re, Re Ray <laughs> Outdoors that pointed out these little leg stands when they have the strap in between them, it keeps the strap under the panel. What I mean is this, you see that? So when I go to close this, this stays put. It doesn't like deviate or fall on this area. That's pretty cool. These are my conditions right now. It's end of the day sun, but still a good angle. You can see that it's not perfect based on the shadow back there. I could adjust it a little bit, but even that we're getting about 54 watts of power in. And I've seen as much as 80 from this dip. 80, 75, 77 is the typical output that I get from this joint, which is pretty good. Now here is a side profile of the panel kind of all buttoned up with this thing. Now what I have found is that these particular joints right here, the, the magnetic aspect of them is not strong. You kind of push it in there, it comes apart really easily. I'm not the biggest fan of that. But as long as you're holding it, it's just gonna flop a little down at the bottom. It's not a big deal, but the magnetic aspect of it is not as strong as it could be. Now this one up here seems to be pretty good, but it doesn't hold it well down at the bottom. Overall, my take is this is an incredibly lightweight, affordable 
like panel that has a nice compact size. Versatile connectors here. I think it's nice to grab and kind of, you know, it has an, a different material. It's not overly like cloth, but it's not also hard plastic either. And it, it's one that I find that if you had to throw it in the trunk, go to a campground, so on and so forth, you will find this one to be pretty rugged and pretty easy to clean and easy to deploy. And it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Oh,